What about um, shoot trees? How do you keep the shape of your creations of this book? Do you offer shoot trees made out of lasts that you were working on? Yes. Like so <laughs> let me, I think I have one lying around here. So all my shoes, they come with shoe trees. Um, so they're uh, kind of a sprung last. So ready to wear, the made to order, and the bespoke shoes. Um, shoe trees are included in every order. Um, they help keep the shape of the shoe, and then they wick, they wick off the moisture um, mm -hmm. at the end of the and day when you put them in. And you have them specially made with the lasts? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is it a separate maker or is it the same people? No, it's the same. Um, the same company makes the lasts and the shoe trees. And the shoe trees. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, yeah, it's definitely it. important. I mean, I would say anybody out there, even if you're getting, you know, ready to wear shoes, they're off the rack, definitely invest in a, a wooden pair of shoe trees. They'll help prolong the life of the shoe. Yeah, absolutely. And those you can just get at Dwayne Reed or any, any, um, where, where do you usually get it? Um, so, that's random. The like Kaufman's or do you go, I feel like, I feel like I've seen them at like um, uh, pharmacies. Yeah, I mean, usually the ones that I, so before I was, before I had the bespoke shoe trees and the custom ones and that, um, not for orders, but personally, when I first started getting into shoemaking and I was making some shoes for myself, I would, um, there's a company called Woodlore. I don't, they might be an Allen Edmonds company. Um, okay. And they do, I think, cedar, mm. wood trees. Um, mm. But a lot of companies, you know, I think Allen Edmonds, um, J. Fitzpatrick Footwear. Mm. You know, there's a lot of companies that offer uh, different types of shoe trees. Sure, sure. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. Um, what else? Like, I'm like, do you have any like shoes that you feel like you want to share with us that you're like, in or anything in your, imag not not imagination, your creative mind that you're like, okay, this is something that I have in mind that I want to do. I haven't done it yet. Something to look forward to for after the pandemic. Like, are you? I guess it's more. I'm trying to see. Maybe it's about meeting your clients right in person. That, that's like the first thing you're gonna do after. Definitely, <laughs> yeah, I wanna get these fitting shoes on my client's feet. Um, and test it. So I'll definitely be looking forward to that. Um, I would love to be back at Brooklyn Shoe Space. Um, I wanna keep teaching and working with you and everyone else in that community. Um, and then also I'm excited about my own, I'm trying to you know, have some new designs, so I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, but I really think I mean once this whole pandemic's over, I think I know it. Maybe at first it might be a little nerve wracking getting back to normal, but you know I think everyone's just gonna be really excited to see each other face to face, chat, yeah. work together. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, but I'm yeah I'm trying to just kind of pace myself. Yeah. You know we don't really know it's changing all the time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that in the short term. Uh, once I get, you know, kind of caught up, all, every, all the fitting shoes are done. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to trying on my own shoes. Cool, cool. <laughs> I want to yeah. finish those. I, I, have a, I have a bunch of designs. I've kind of been on the sideline. I haven't really had time. Maybe three, but, four time, I'll check in again and see. Yeah, how please do. Gotten. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I, I do have, you know, there's a lot of time now because yeah. everything's closed. Yeah. But really just kind of getting back into the mix of things and getting back into, you know, doing the teaching. I was doing some contracting work for a shoemaker and then back, you know, I am doing my own stuff, but I wanted, you know, meet clients, existing clients, new clients, keep kind of keep yeah. building the business. So in a way, everything's... So some stuff, it's still kind of rolling because I'm able to work, but other mm -hmm. stuff, it's like totally just on pause. Yeah, on pause, You know, yeah. so that's definitely where it's like, uh. I'm sure, like, there's people who really want to do bespoke shoemaking, learn sh bespoke shoemaking in Brooklyn as well. So I hope you can come back to teach. 
That's my plan. It's so much fun to see and watch everybody's like just walk through, you know, and walk out with beautiful pair of shoes. There's somebody asking. Sorry, I'm just going to read this question. Yeah, please do. I'm, I was trying to find, see the tracker thing, but you're doing a way better job than I am. No, so. It's really hard. And so it, it's, you know, it's a phone. So it's so small. Okay. Is there something you feel like you need to learn more? Michelangelo Torre. 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 I asking. need to learn more. Or, or um, maybe you something that you, yeah, something that you wish to learn more. Not need to, but something that you feel like, okay. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's anything necessarily like, I think in the past there was more kind of specific things, like, oh, I saw this construction, like, I really want to learn that. But I think lately, I mean, this can always change, but I really am just trying to fine tune everything I know. I always Mm want to learn more. Um, you know, if you're trying to reach one finished product with shoemaking, there's five different ways to get there. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I feel like I have a, a good knowledge, mm-hmm. um, but I always want to learn more. But I think now I'm looking really at fine tuning what I do and just, you know, making it um, the finishing better. The just I want to make everything kind of uh, just better, you know, make the upper making just keep you know, it's getting better, getting better. So there's not, there's not necessarily one uh, thing that you want to learn. Yeah. But it's just, you know, keep, you know, keep on progressing, fine tuning. Yep. Yep. But I would, I I would love if I could is, um, you know, I was in Italy um, learning there and I would love to maybe, one of the ideas I have is to go to Japan and just kind of see, you know, I have a few friends over there um, and just kind of see their work because it's a very different in a sense. Maybe um, sit down with them for like a week at a time. Yeah, kind of, a, yeah. Like, yeah, not, it would be- Not it, apprentice, but just work with them. Yeah, something like that would just be incredibly fun, I think, because, you know, a lot of makers, they have their way of doing it. Yeah. I think for me going forward, I mean, that's kind of would be really fun. Yeah, I think so. You should totally do it. I think they'd be open to having you. I Don't you think like shoemakers are all very friendly? <laughs> they're very, I think they're very open and friendly and like, you know, they're very patient and hardworking and, you know, it, everything takes a long time. But if you're willing to spend that time with them to watch, you know, and yeah. you're there, I feel like. Be I like, think, sure. um, yeah, from my experience, I think shoemakers, there's definitely a certain mentality. Mm-hmm. You know, there's definitely a very kind of intense mentality. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, once they real, like, if, like when I was just, when I was first starting, it was hard to kind of convince other shoemakers that I was serious because I didn't really have much work and stuff like that. So there is right. this intensity, but once I feel like shoemakers, they can perceive or see like whoa this person is serious they really do want to learn yeah then they are more open i think because you know they kind of had a similar process where they had to prove to their master or teacher that hey i'm really serious right but you know once the master kind of saw then it's like hey this person is serious i'm you know i will invest in them i will teach them you know everything i know yeah 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 that's so great that you had the three years in Italy. I hope you can keep on doing it. Let's try. I think you should shoot it out there into the world. And I think. Um, yeah, I mean, that's kind yeah. of one of my goals. It's just, you know, like right now I'm really focused on trying to do the whole kind of get into New York City, move there. So once I kind of get my footing there and am able to travel a little more, that's definitely on my radar. I've been back to Italy uh, twice since I left mm-hmm. and yeah being back and just seeing you know seeing the school i went to there going to roberto's shop seeing the new stuff he's working on i mean it's always it's so fun just to see what's going on exactly exactly and kind of reconnecting because i mean now with the pandemic you know it's great we can communicate you know on the internet online uh, through instagram but it's not quite the same as in person you know yeah so true 
Yeah. I'm thinking, I'm sure there's people following you who want to learn from you who are going to come and visit you too. On the flip side Wonderful. of things, you know, you're so, so wait, what's uh, one more question and then let's, let's, I'll let you go. But what is your COVID tool? Wait, can you read that again? That really cut out. What is your beloved tool? One of your, like, I can't live without. Sorry. Okay. What is um, your beloved thing? So I have a me? few lasting pliers. Mm -hmm. These ones. Uh, mm -hmm. These. Mm -hmm. These guys. But then another one is my soul stitching all. Mm -hmm. Everyone can see that. It actually broke once or twice. So I had to reshape it, but now I feel like it's perfect. But I'm sure one day it will snap again. Um, so those where are, I, I love those. Where do you acquire your tools? Um, most of my tools I purchased, um, while I was in Italy. So they're, they're, most of them are Italian. Um, I have a few kind of Japanese tools. There's a number of Japanese mm -hmm. students there. Mm -hmm. Um, one of the assistants when I, while I was there was this, uh, Japanese gentleman, Masa, he um, kind of would order specialty stuff for uh, me and some of the other students. Um, so some of those tools, the Japanese stuff, I mean, they're awesome. And you can't really get them unless you know someone who lives in Japan, who's from Japan. <laughs> um, right. So, I mean, you're familiar with that kind of tools like this kind of knife. Right. Um, I did order a few. You're probably familiar with Yohei Fukuda. Mm -hmm. He makes a few uh, edge irons. Oh, wow. Um, I, I purchased a few of those. They're incredible. Um, then there's another uh, Instagram tool maker, maker called Ratmere. I don't know okay. if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I bought a few of his edge irons, uh, which I use. Um, These and are then... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's, yeah, or even like my hammer, like this one, it's from a uh, antique market in Italy. Oh, amazing. So, All the like, makers, yeah, they, they find it in the antique, yeah, like the vintage, the markets. That yeah, so great. I think, yeah, it's like every tool you're kind of attached to, but it's just there's mm -hmm. a few you couldn't really replace. Right. If something happens to them. Something happens to it, yeah. You know, so. Yeah, yeah well, thank you for showing me or us your space yeah, of course and taking the thank time thank you for uh, inviting us. me onto the i don't know what I you call it the instagram live yeah and i look forward to seeing your your pair of shoes for yourself i'm sure you're going to post it on instagram so i'll keep an eye out definitely yeah definitely well All i right. look forward to being back at brooklyn shoe space um it's such a great community oh, everyone's been very welcoming i've kind of been on the periphery a little bit because i was so far away and now that yeah. i moved into the city i mean everyone's just so welcoming it's a fantastic community so yeah, i appreciate you having me uh involved there yeah no thanks thanks all right stay well be healthy you too please stay yeah, in touch thanks. Yeah, stay in touch. Bye. Bye.